Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get an early start here live from the High School, Sabanau Yellow Jackets versus your Dehennis Cowboys. Live here on the Dehennis Athletics on Facebook and also on YouTube this afternoon. Leading off for the Yellow Jackets is number nine, Morgan Peak. With JJ Garcia getting the start on the mound for your Cowboys. Will Shavi behind the plate. First pitch from Garcia. Swing and a miss for strike one. So no balls and one strike on peak with Marcus heading on to that third base. Rayton Redden at shortstop. Brady Herndon at second base. Jaden Puente at first base. And the outfield from left to right. Aaron Chapman, Kate Hendry, and Josiah Rodriguez. Next pitch is outside for ball one. So one ball and one strike on Morgan Peak. The pitch from Garcia. Swung on and hit. Beautiful catch, fielded by Herndon at second, and fires it over to Jaden Puente at first for out number one. Nice stop by Brady Herndon. And up next is number 25, Jonas Borrego. First pitch from Garcia. Borrego swings, pops it up to the outfield. And Kate Henry's checking it down and makes the catch for out number two. And up next is number eight, Sergio Vasquez. Once again, JJ Garcia getting the start on the mound for your Cowboys. Sergio Vasquez at the plate for the Yellow Jackets. Wind up in the pitch. Just miss outside for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Vasquez. The pitch from Garcia in there for strike one. So one and one count on Sergio Vasquez. Pitch from Garcia. Low for ball two. So two balls and one strike on Vasquez. The pitch outside for ball three. So three balls and one strike. With two outs here in the top of the first. Pitch from Garcia. And swing and fouled back out of play. Brings the count full. Three balls and two strikes on Sergio Vasquez. The pitch from Garcia. High and inside for ball four. So Vasquez will draw the walk. Make his way towards first. And up next is number three, Aiden Tinker. Vasquez with a good size lead on first. Garcia pitchy from the stretch. The pitch high for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Tinker. The pitch swung, filled it by Redden at shortstop, fires it over to first to Puente. For the third out of the inning, Yellow Jackets leave one run stranded, but bring no runs across. We remain scoreless. You're watching Dennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back.
There's power in the simplest of actions. Like one neighbor helping another. Where everybody looks out for everybody else. Community is everything to your electric cooperative. And we're grateful for your trust to provide the energy you need, giving you the power to power on. Medina Electric Cooperative is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, your source for power and information. Primo Processing, located in Hondo, Texas, strives to find the finest, best prime meats and wild game available in the market. We care for all of our customers and maintain the strictest quality standard. Food brings us all together and we want everyone to experience this feeling of togetherness over our delicious food. Come by our store or order online and have your food delivered straight to your door. We're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Located on Highway 90 on County Road 432 in Hondo, Texas, we pride ourselves in great customer service. We offer quality prime beef, wagyu beef, fajitas, parisa, year-round wild game processing, guaranteed return of your meat, ranch pickup service, and gift baskets here at Primo Processing in Hondo, Texas. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Leading the inning for the Cowboys is the pitcher, number two, J.J. Garcia. Getting the start on the mound for the Yellow Jackets is number eight, Sergio Vasquez. Behind the plate, Jason Santos at third base, Aiden Tinker, shortstop. Jonas Borrego, second base, Matthew McCauley, first base, Bo Bessa in the outfield from left to right, Brian Alejandro, Andres Reyes, and Diego Valdez. First pitch coming up from Vasquez to J.J. Garcia. First pitch in there for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Garcia. Once again, Sergio Vasquez getting the start on the mound with the Yellow Jackets. Garcia swings. Fielded by the second baseman, fires it over to Bessa for out number one. As Matthew McCauley filled the ball and fired it over to first for out number one. And up next for the Cowboys is the second baseman, number five, Brady Herndon. Vasquez with the pitch in the dirt for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Herndon. With one out here in the bottom of the first. The pitch from Vasquez. Herndon swings and hits it. And it gets by the second baseman. So single for Brady Herndon. And up next is the shortstop number four, Rain Redden. So Herndon gets on base with the single. And up next is the shortstop number four, Rain Redden, with Sergio Vasquez on the mound. Herndon with the good size lead. The pitch from Vasquez, low for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Redden. And the ball gets by the first baseman, so Herndon will make his way towards third. And Coach Kraft's gonna hold up Brady Herndon at third base on the error. As Vasquez tried to pick off Herndon at first, the ball went underneath the first baseman's glove. And Herndon is now standing on third base with Redden at the plate. The pitch in there for strike one. So one ball and one strike with one out here in the bottom of the first. 
Brady Herndon on third. The pitch swung and fouled back. Makes the count one ball and two strikes. The wind up in the pitch from Vasquez. Hit by Red and fielded by Tinker at third. Fires it over to first. Overthrow. And Herndon will come in and score. And Redden will be held, hope be held up at second. And the Cowboys now lead one to zero. And up next is the catcher, number 11, Will Shavi, with Redden on second. Pitch in there for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Shavi. With Redden on second. Cowboys lead one to zero. Two errors committed by the Yellow Jackets here in the bottom of the first. The pitch from Vasquez outside for ball one. So one and one count with one out on Shavi. The pitch in there for strike two. So one ball and two strikes on the batter. The pitch low and outside for ball two. So two balls and two strikes on Shavi with Rain Redden on second. Cowboys lead one to zero. And Sergio Vasquez on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. The pitch, low into the dirt for ball three. So full count. Three balls and two strikes on the batter. Pitch from Vasquez. Xavi hits it deep to right. And his misjudge is going to be dropped. And Redding's going to advance to third. And Kraft's going to hold him up at third. So runners are now on the corners for the Cowboys on first and third. And checking in to courtesy run for Will Xavi at first base is number seven, Case Braden. So Rain Redding on third. Case Braden on first. And now at the plate is the third baseman, number one, Marcus Hernandez. Vasquez fakes the throw of the third, checks back. Takes a look back at the runner at first. So no balls and no strikes on Hernandez. A pitch from Vasquez, high and inside for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Hernandez. Pitch in there for strike one. So one ball and one strike on Marcus Hernandez with one out here in the bottom of the first. Cowboys lead one to zero. Rain Redden on third. Case Braden on first. The pitch from Vasquez gets by the catcher. Braden's going to advance to second. And Redden's going to come in and score on the pass ball. And the Cowboys now lead two to zero. So 
So two balls and one strike on Hernandez. Case Braden on second. Cowboys lead two to zero here in the bottom of the first. Vasquez delivers a pitch outside for ball three. So three and one count on Hernandez. And Vasquez is gonna check the runner at second. Braden's gonna get back in time. So three and one count with a one out. The pitch from Vasquez high for ball four. So Hernandez will make his way towards first. And up next is the center fielder, number 21, Cade Hendry. Cowboys now with runners on first and second. Braden on second. Hernandez on first. And Cade Hendry now at the plate. First pitch, Hendry swings and fouls it out of play. Makes the count, no balls, and one strike on Hendry. The pitch, swing and a miss, first strike two. So no balls and two strikes on Hendry. Once again, Case Braden on second, Marcus heading on this on first. No balls and two strikes with one out here at the bottom of the first. Cowboys lead two to zero. Sergio Vasquez on the mound for Sabanow. The pitch inside for ball one. One and two count. The pitch. Hendry hits it deep to center field. And the catch is made for out number two by Andres Reyes. And the runners do not advance. So Braden remains on second. Hernandez on first. And now coming to the plate is the left fielder number 18, Aaron Chapman. First pitch from Vasquez. Chapman hits it deep to right, and it's going to drop in. And Braden's going to make his way in and come in and score. Play at the plate, not in time. Ball gets by the catcher. Hernandez advancing to third, Chapman to second. And the Cowboys now lead three to zero. Off the hit of Aaron Chapman. And up next is the designated hitter, number 34, Easton King. Hernandez on third, Chapman on second. Easton King at the plate for the Cowboys. The pitch from Vasquez. King hits it deep to center. And the catch is made for out number three by Andres Reyes. Cowboys leave two runners stranded, but bring three runs across and lead three to zero. You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back. We like to describe Main Street Mercantile as a little piece of heaven with a wild street. We started with the dream to bring a fabulous and unique gift selection to our small town and rural community. We have trendy clothing, home decor, accessories, and so much more. 
We are a destination worth the trip. Just ask anybody who's been here. Located on Highway 90, just outside of Hondo, stop in today to your new favorite store. Cowboy Pest Control Services. With over 18 years experience in the pest control industry, Dale Zare with Cowboy Pest Control Services has seen and solved every insect issue that you may be facing. From ants, roaches to spiders and scorpions, Dale has solved them all. And when termites are found, Dale can deal with them also. Call or text 830-931-5542 and talk to Dale about any insect related problem you may be having. And he will get to work fixing it fast and at a fair price. Also, if you need a wood destroying insect report for the sale of property, he does that too. Best of luck to the Cowboys and Cowgirls from Cowboy Pest Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the second, Cowboys lead 3 0. Leading the inning off for the Yellow Jackets is the right fielder, number 22, Diego Valdez. First pitch from Garcia in there for strike one. So, no balls and one strike on Diego Valdez. Wind up in the pitch from Garcia. In there for strike two. So no balls and two strikes on Valdez. Garcia delivers a pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. And out number one. And up next is the first baseman, number 10, Bo Bessa. So that's the first strikeout of the game for Garcia. The pitch high and inside for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Bessa. The pitch. Bessa hits it. Chopped over to Rain Red in that shortstop who fires it over to first to Puente. We're out number two. And up next is the center fielder number one, Andres Reyes. Pitch from Garcia. Outside and low for ball one. So one ball and no strikes. On Reyes. The pitch. Outside for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on the center fielder. Andres Reyes. Pitch from Garcia. Hit deep and he's going to drop in the gap in between right and center. So Andres Reyes will reach base on the single to right field. And up next is the second baseman, number two, Matthew McCauley. So with two outs here in the top of the second, Cowboys lead the Yellow Jackets 3-0. Matthew McCauley at the plate for the Jackets. Reyes on first. And Garcia's going to check the runner, and Reyes is going to get back in plenty of time. Pitch from Garcia. Chopped down the third baseline. Fielded by Garcia who fires it over to first. Over the head of the first baseman. And Reyes will hold up at third. On the overthrow. So the Yellow Jackets now with runners on the corners on first and third. And up next is the left fielder, number 21, Brian Alejandro. 
with Reyes on third, McCauley on first. The pitch from Garcia in there for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Alejandro. The pitch from Garcia swung and fouled back out of play. Makes the count. No balls and two strikes on the batter. No balls and two strikes on the batter. The pitch from Garcia. Swing and a miss for strike three. And that is the second strikeout of the game for JJ Garcia as the Cowboys lead three to zero as we head to the bottom of the second. Got an update from Shadow Glen in Maynard, Texas from Coach Fred McCullum. Boys shot a 327 at the first round at regionals. Wyatt Rohde shot a 74, Kenny Arnett 79, Jace Woodbury shot an 87, Ruger Cody with an 87, and Brent Frosch with a shot of 91. And for the girls, their score after the first round, total 487. Abby Arnett shot a 108, Addie Moots 110, Sage Knowlton 111, and Kylie Hohan with 158. So good luck to the Cowboys and Cowgirls golf team they'll be back tomorrow morning from Shadow Glen in Maynard, Texas. I believe the boys are in first after day number one, but once they post the results, they will share them with everyone after today's game. I'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors. Once again, Summit Landscape and Design, Medina Electric Co-op, Primo's Processing, Main Street Mercantile and Cowboy Pest Control Services. Leading the inning off for the Cowboys is the first baseman, number 22, Jaden Puente. First pitch from Vasquez is in there for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Jaden Puente. The pitch, swing and a miss for strike two. So no balls and two strikes on Puente. With Sergio Vasquez on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. Cowboys lead 3-0 here in the bottom of the second. The pitch from Vasquez. Inside for ball one. So one ball and two strikes on the batter. The pitch high for ball two. So two balls and two strikes on Puente. The 2-2 pitch, swing and a miss for strike three. And out number one. And up next is the pitcher, number two, J.J. Garcia. Pitch from Vasquez in there for strike one. So no balls and one strike on JJ Garcia. The pitch outside and low for ball one. 
So one ball and one strike. On Garcia. The pitch from Vasquez. Garcia hits it. Fielded by the second baseman. Bobbled by McCauley at second. And he's going to fire it over to first to Bessa for out number two. And up next for the Cowboys is the second baseman, number five, Brady Herndon. Vasquez with the pitch in there for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Brady Herndon. Bottom of the second, Cowboys holding on to a 3-0 lead over the Yellow Jackets. The pitch from Vasquez in the dirt for ball one. So one and one count on Herndon. The pitch in there for strike two. So one ball and two strikes on Herndon with two outs. Vasquez with the windup and the pitch. Chopped by Herndon, fielded by Vasquez. Vasquez will fire it over to first. The ball is overthrown. And Herndon making his way towards second. And Kraft is waving him to the third. And Herndon will be safe underneath the tag. And up next is the shortstop number four, Rain Redden, with Herndon standing on third. Pitch is high for ball one. The wind up in the pitch. Gets by the catcher. Herndon will slide and be safe at home. And the Cowboys now lead four to zero. With now two balls and no strikes on Redden. And the pitch in there for strike one. So two balls and one strike. On Rain Redden with two outs here in the bottom of the second. Cowboys now lead four to zero. The pitch from Vasquez. Outside and low for ball three. So three and one count on Redden. The pitch. Redden swings and chops it foul down the third baseline. It's going to bring up the count full. Three balls and two strikes with two outs on Rain Redden. Vasquez with the windup and the pitch. Low for ball four, so Redden will make his way towards first as he draws the walk. And up next is the catcher, number 11, Will Shavi. With Redden on first, Will Shavi at the plate. Sergio Vasquez on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. The 
pitch from Vasquez in there for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Xavi. Once again, Rain Redden on first. The pitch swung and fouled back to bring the count to no balls and two strikes with Redden on first. Well, Xavi at the plate for the Cowboys with no balls and two strikes with two outs here in the bottom of the second. Cowboys lead four to zero. O2 count on Xavi. Is going to call time for the catcher. So back to play we go. No balls and two strikes on Xavi. The pitch from Vasquez. Xavi hits it foul down the third base side. So the count remains no balls and two strikes on the batter. Pitch from Vasquez, low for ball one. So one ball and two strikes on Will Xavi. Rain Redden on first. The pitch. Fouled off the bat of Xavi. Count remains. One ball and two strikes with two outs here in the bottom of the second. With a rain redden on first. Will Xavi at the plate. Xavi. F hits it, fielded by Vasquez on the mound, who fires it over to first. And they're going to say that he had control of the ball at first for the third out of the inning. As we head to the top of the third, Cowboys lead 4-0. to zero. You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back. Not everyone starts their day at the same time or in the same way. But no matter when or how, your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative is there to help you power every moment of it in countless ways. Because whenever it starts, one thing is certain. We never stop. Medina Electric Cooperative is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, your source for power and information.
We like to describe Main Street Mercantile as a little piece of heaven with a wild street. We started with the dream to bring a fabulous and unique gift selection to our small town and rural community. We have trendy clothing, home decor, accessories, and so much more. We are a destination worth the trip. Just ask anybody who's been here. Located on Highway 90, just outside of Hondo, stop in today to your new favorite store. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the third. Cowboys lead the Yellow Jackets 4 to 0. And leading the inning off for the Yellow Jackets is number nine, Morgan Peak. First pitch to Peak. Curveball in there for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Peak. JJ Garcia on the mound for the Cowboys. Delivers the next pitch. Swing and a miss for strike two. Behind the plate, Will Shavi. Third base, Marcus Hernandez. Shortstop, Rain Redden. Second base, Brady Herndon. First base, Jaden Puente. And in the outfield from left to right, Aaron Chapman, Kate Hendry, and Josiah Rodriguez. Swing and a miss for strike three. And out number one. That is the third strikeout of the game for J.J. Garcia. And up next is the shortstop number 25, Jonas Borrego. First pitch from Garcia. Low and outside for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Jonas Borrego. The pitch from Garcia. Inside gets by the catcher for ball two. So two balls and no strikes. Pitch from Garcia. Just miss. Low for ball three. So three balls and no strikes on the batter. The pitch in there for strike one. So three balls and one strike on Borrego. With one out here in the top of the third, Cowboys lead four to zero. The pitch, Borrego swings, pops it up, and it's gonna. The wind's gonna carry the ball out of play. It's gonna bring the count full: three balls and two strikes. So full count on Borrego. pitch swing and a miss for strike three and out number two up next is the pitcher number eight Sergio Vasquez first pitch in there for strike one So no balls and one strike on Vasquez. Pitch outside for ball one. So one and one count on Vasquez with two outs here in the top of the third. The pitch from Garcia. High and inside for ball two. So two balls and one strike on the batter. The pitch just missed outside for ball three. So three balls and one strike on Vasquez. Pitch. Vasquez swings and fouls it back out of play. It's going to bring the count full. Three balls and two strikes 
on Vasquez with two outs here in the top of the third. J.J. Garcia on the mound for the Cowboys. Will Shavi behind the plate. A pitch from Garcia. Hit to second base, fielded by Herndon, who fires it over to first. The Puente for out number three. As we head to the bottom of the third, Cowboys lead 4-0. to zero. You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back. Cowboy Pest Control Services. With over 18 years experience in the pest control industry, Dale Zare with Cowboy Pest Control Services has seen and solved every insect issue that you may be facing. From ants, roaches, to spiders, and scorpions, Dell has solved them all. And when termites are found, Dell can deal with them also. Call or text 830-931-5542 and talk to Dell about any insect-related problem you may be having. And he will get to work fixing it fast and at a fair price. Also, if you need a wood-destroying insect report for the seller property, he does that too. Best of luck to the Cowboys and Cowgirls from Cowboy Pest Control Services. Medina Electric Cooperative was built by this community more than 80 years ago to deliver safe, reliable, and affordable energy. We are proud to serve this community beyond the power lines. You can find us supporting your kids' little league, sponsoring school events, hosting safety presentations, and more. We're honored to belong to this community. Keep up with Medina Electric from the power lines to the sidelines on social media or at medinaec.org.
So two balls and one strike. I apologize, I forgot to turn the sound back on. Two balls and one strike with one out here in the bottom of the third. Swing and a miss for strike two. So two and two count on Hendry. With one out here in the bottom of the third, Cowboys lead four to zero. Sergio Vasquez on the mound. Kate Hendry at the plate. The pitch from Vasquez. Swung and fouled back out of play. Count remains, two balls and two strikes on Hendry. The 2-2 pitch, Hendry swings and hits it to the shortstop. And the catch is made by Jonas Borrego for out number two. And up next is the left fielder, number 18, Aaron Chapman. The pitch from Vasquez in there for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Chapman. Pitch high for ball one. So one and one count on Aaron Chapman with two outs. The pitch, Chapman hits it to center field. He's gonna drop in, ball gets by the center fielder. Chapman's gonna make his way towards second. Coach Crafts sending him to third. So it's going to be a stand-up triple for Aaron Chapman. And up next is the designated hitter, number 34, Easton King. With Chapman standing on third. The pitch, low for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on King. The pitch from Vasquez, low for ball two. So two balls and no strikes. The pitch from Vasquez, swing and a miss for strike one. So two balls and one strike on Easton King. A pitch. King swings and fouls it back out of play. It's going to bring the count to two balls and two strikes with two outs. Here in the bottom of the third. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Swung and fouled back out of play. So King battling with deuces across the board. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs. The pitch from Vasquez. Swung and fouled back into the fence. Count remains two and two. Across the street after an inning of play. Cowgirls lead their Lady Crushers eight to one. The pitch from Vasquez, outside and low for ball three. So full count on King, three balls and two strikes with Aaron Chapman on third for the Cowboys.
the pitch swung and fouled into the glove for out number three. As we head to the top of the fourth, Cowboys lead the Yellow Jackets 4-0. You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back. Primo Processing, located in Hondo, Texas, strives to find the finest, best prime meats and wild game available in the market. We care for all of our customers and maintain the strictest quality standard. Food brings us all together and we want everyone to experience this feeling of togetherness over our delicious food. Come by our store or order online and have your food delivered straight to your door. We're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Located on Highway 90 on County Road 432 in Hondo, Texas, we pride ourselves in great customer service. We offer quality prime beef, wagyu beef, fajitas, parisa, year-round wild game processing, guaranteed return of your meat, ranch pickup service, and gift baskets here at Primo Processing in Hondo, Texas. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the fourth, Cowboys lead the Yellow Jackets 4-0. to zero. Setting the defense for your Cowboys on the mound. J.J. Garcia behind the plate. Will Xavi, third base, Marcus Hernandez. Shortstop, Rain Redden. Second base, Brady Herndon. First base, Jaden Puente. The outfield from left to right, Aaron Chapman, Kate Hendry, and Josiah Rodriguez. And leading the inning off for the Yellow Jackets is the third baseman. Number three, Aiden Tinker. First pitch from Garcia. Swung and fouled back out of play. So no balls and one strike on Tinker. The pitch outside and low for ball one. So one and one count. That pitch from Garcia. In there for a strike two. So one ball and two strikes on Tinker. The pitch. Curveball in there for strike three. And out number one. And that is the fifth strikeout of the game for Garcia. And up next for the Yellow Jackets is the right fielder, number 22, Diego Valdez. First pitch to Valdez. Low for ball one. So one ball and no strikes. The pitch in there. First strike one. So one and one count on Valdez. With one out. The pitch. Outside and low for ball two. So two and one count on Valdez. The pitch just a bit high for ball three. So three and one count on the batter. The pitch swing and a miss for strike two. Full count. The pitch from Garcia. Just miss outside for ball four. So Valdez will make his way towards first as he draws the walk. And up next is the first baseman, number 10, Bo Bessa. With Valdez on first. The pitch from Garcia. Swing to miss. First strike one. So no balls and one strike on Bessa. The pitch. 
Besson hits it deep to left. He's going to drop in, get by the left fielder. Valdez making his way towards home. Bessa with the stand-up RBI double. And the Yellow Jackets get on the board. Off the hit of Bo Bessa. And up next for the Yellow Jackets is the center fielder number one, Andres Reyes. First pitch from Garcia. In there for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Reyes with Bessa on second. The pitch, swing and a miss for strike two. So no balls and two strikes. The pitch, swung and fouled back out of play. Count remains, no balls and two strikes on Reyes. pitch outside for ball one so one and two count Bo Bessa on second for the Yellow Jackets Andres Reyes at the plate JJ Garcia on the mound for the Cowboys and there's the pitch curveball in there for strike three and out number two and this is the sixth strikeout of the game for Garcia and up next is the second baseman, number two, Matthew McCauley. The pitch fouled back on the check swing. So brings the count to no balls and one strike on McCauley. with Bessa on second. The pitch from Garcia in there for a strike two. So no balls and two strikes on McCauley. The Garcia with the pitch. Just miss high for ball one. So one ball and two strikes. The pitch, swing and a miss for a strike three. And that is the seventh strikeout for JJ Garcia. As the Cowboys lead four to one over the Yellow Jackets. You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back. We like to describe Main Street Mercantile as a little piece of heaven with a wild street. We started with the dream to bring a fabulous and unique gift selection to our small town and rural community. We have trendy clothing, home decor, accessories, and so much more. We are a destination worth the trip. Just ask anybody who's been here. Located on Highway 90, just outside of Hondo, stop in today to your new favorite store. Cowboy Pest Control Services. With over 18 years experience in the pest control industry, Dale's there with Cowboy Pest Control Services has seen and solved every insect issue that you may be facing. 
From ants, roaches to spiders and scorpions, Dale has solved them all. And when termites are found, Dale can deal with them also. Call or text 830-931-5542 and talk to Dale about any insect-related problem you may be having. And he will get to work fixing it fast and at a fair price. Also, if you need a wood-destroying insect report for the seller property, he does that too. Best of luck to the Cowboys and Cowgirls from Cowboy Pest Control Services. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, live from Dehennis High School. Sabanau Yellow Jackets versus your Dehennis Cowboys. Dehennis leads 4-1 to one as we begin the bottom of the fourth. And leading the inning off for the Cowboys is the first baseman, number 22, Jaden Puente. With Sergio Vasquez remaining on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. Jason Santos behind the plate. First pitch from Vasquez coming up to Puente. Swing and a miss for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Puente. The pitch, swing and a miss for strike two. So no balls and two strikes on Jaden Puente. The pitch, swing and a miss for strike three. And out number one. And up next is the pitcher number two, JJ Garcia. Umpire is going to call balk on the first pitch, so it's going to bring up one ball and no strikes on Garcia. The pitch in there for strike one. So one and one count on JJ Garcia with one out here in the bottom of the fourth. Cowboys lead four to one. The pitch from Vasquez outside and low for ball two. So two and one count. Pitch high for ball three. So three balls and one strike on JJ Garcia. The pitch from Vasquez in there for a strike two. Full count on Garcia. Garcia swings and is caught by Sergio Vasquez for out number two. And up next is the second baseman, number five, Brady Herndon. from Vasquez low for ball one actually they're going to say that he went so no balls and one strike on Herndon the pitch in there for strike two so no balls and two strikes on the batter with two outs The pitch, low for ball one. So one ball and two strikes on Herndon. The pitch gets by the catcher. So deuces across the board, two balls, two strikes with two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. Cowboys lead four to one with number five, Brady Herndon at the plate for the Cowboys. The 2-2 pitch, low for ball three. Full count on Herndon. The 
pitch. Outside for ball four. So Herndon will draw the walk and make his way towards first. And up next is the shortstop number four, Rain Redden. Once again with Herndon on first. Pitch from Vasquez is in there. First strike one. So no balls and one strike on Redden. The pitch in the dirt. Herndon's going to make his way towards second. He's going to slide. Ball is thrown to center field. But Herndon's going to hold up at second. So brings the count to one ball and one strike on Rain Redden with two outs. The pitch from Vasquez gets by the catcher. Herndon's going to make his way towards third. And it's going to be safe. So two balls and one strike on Redden. Herndon now on third. The pitch in there for strike two. So deuces across the board, two balls, two strikes with two outs. On Rain Redden with Brady Herndon on third. The pitch from Vasquez, low for ball three. Full count on Redden. Pitch from Vasquez. Redden swings, chops it over to Borrego at shortstop. Bobbled, fires it over to first. Redden's going to get there in time, and Herndon will score on the infield hit. And the Cowboys now lead 5-1. to one. Off the RBI single by Rain Redden. And up next is the catcher, number 11, Will Shavi. So Rain Redden on first, Will Shavi at the plate. The pitch, low and outside for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Shavi. The pitch, swung and fouled back. He's going to bring the count to one ball and one strike on the batter. With the rain redden on first. The pitch outside for ball two. So two and one count on Xavi, Redden on first, Sergio Vasquez on the mound, Jason Santos behind the plate for the Yellow Jackets. The pitch outside and Redden will still second. So Redden now on second. Three balls and one strike on the batter. Pitch in there for strike two. Full count on Xavi 
with two outs, Redden on second. Cowboys lead five to one. The pitch high for ball four, so Xavi will draw the walk and make his way towards first. And now assistant coach Hunter Eitze will come out and speak with Sergio Vasquez. So once again, we'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors, Summit Landscape and Design, Medina Electric Co-op, Primo's Processing, Main Street Mercantile, and Cowboy Pest Control Services in action across the street. Cowgirls lead the Lady Crushers of Canepa 11-1 in the bottom of the second. And it appears that they're going to make a pitching change. And now coming into the game to pitch for the Yellow Jackets is number 15, Cannon Wren. So while he warms up, we're going to let our sponsors do a little bit of talking. You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back. power in the simplest of actions like one neighbor helping another where everybody looks out for everybody else community is everything to your electric cooperative and we're grateful for your trust to provide the energy you need giving you the power to power on medina electric cooperative is a touchstone energy cooperative your source for power and information Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Bottom of the fourth, Cowboys lead five to one. New pitcher coming in for the Yellow Jackets. For Sergio Vasquez is number 15, Cannon Wren. Vasquez. Vasquez has now moved over to third base. And back to play we go with the third baseman, number one, Marcus Hernandez at the plate. First pitch from Wren. In there for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Hernandez. With Redden on second, Case Braden on first. The pitch gets by the catcher. Runners do not advance. So brings the count to one ball and one strike on Hernandez. One and one count. The pitch high for ball two. So two balls and one strike on Hernandez. With Redden on second, Braden on first. With two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. The pitch. Hernandez hits it up the middle. And they're going to say that. The runner is out on the force out as the umpire took some time to make that call. So as we head to the top of the fifth, Cowboys lead five to one over the Yellow Jackets. You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. 
we'll be right back. Primo Processing, located in Hondo, Texas, strives to find the finest, best prime meats and wild game available in the market. We care for all of our customers and maintain the strictest quality standard. Food brings us all together and we want everyone to experience this feeling of togetherness over our delicious food. Come by our store or order online and have your food delivered straight to your door. We're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Located on Highway 90 on County Road 432 in Hondo, Texas, we pride ourselves in great customer service. We offer quality prime beef, wagyu beef, fajitas, parisa, year-round wild game processing, guaranteed return of your meat, ranch pickup service, and gift baskets here at Primo Processing in Hondo, Texas. We like to describe Main Street Mercantile as a little piece of heaven with a wild street. We started with the dream to bring a fabulous and unique gift selection to our small town and rural community. We have trendy clothing, home decor, accessories, and so much more. We are a destination worth the trip. Just ask anybody who's been here. Located on Highway 90, just outside of Hondo, stop. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the fifth, leading the inning off for the Yellow Jackets is Brian Alejandro, who hits it deep to left. And he'll lead off the inning with the single to left field. Once again, Brian Alejandro. Up next for the Yellow Jackets is number nine, Morgan Peak. First pitch, Peak lays down a bunt. Fielded by Puente. And the Yellow Jackets now have runners on first and second. Back to back hits for the Yellow Jackets to begin here in the top of the fifth. And up next is the shortstop number 25, Jonas Borrego. First pitch from Garcia is high for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Borrego with Alejandro on second, peak on first. The pitch, Alejandro swings and fouls it back. Excuse me, Borrego swings and fouls it back. Brings the count to one ball and one strike on Borrego. Once again, Alejandro on second, Peak on first, and Jonas Borrego at the plate for the Yellow Jackets. Borrego shows bunt, curveball in there for strike two. So one ball and two strikes on the batter. Pitch, Borrego swings and hits it deep to right. And Josiah Rodriguez is there to make the catch. For out number one. As Alejandro tagged up from second to third. Peak remains on first. And up next is the third baseman, number eight, Sergio Vasquez. And now head coach Todd Kraft is going to go out, speak with his pitcher and in the infield. 
get them situated here in the top of the fifth. Cowboys lead five to one. I'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors once again. Summit Landscape and Design, Medina Electric Co-op, Primo's Processing, Main Street Mercantile, and Cowboy Pest Control Services. And the top of the third across the street, Cowgirls lead the Kinnipa Lady Crushers 13 to two. This is the final home game for the Cowboys this season. They'll be on the road the last two games before the start of the playoffs. So once again, JJ Garcia on the mound for the Cowboys. Sergio Vasquez at the plate for the Yellow Jackets. Vasquez scores around, shows bunt, pulls back in there for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Vasquez with one out, with runners now on second and third. Vasquez hits it up the middle, fielded by Redden, fires it over to first to Puente for out number two. And on the hit, Alejandro will come in and score for the Yellow Jackets. So with two outs, and Morgan Peak on third. Up next is number three, Aiden Tinker. First pitch from Garcia, Tinker swings, pops it up in the infield, and the catch is made for out number three by Brady Herndon. Cowboys lead five to two. You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back. Cowboy Pest Control Services. With over 18 years experience in the pest control industry, Del Zer with Cowboy Pest Control Services has seen and solved every insect issue that you may be facing. From ants, roaches to spiders and scorpions, Dell has solved them all. And when termites are found, Dell can deal with them also. Call or text 830-931-5542 and talk to Dell about any insect related problem you may be having. And he will get to work fixing it fast and at a fair price. Also, if you need a wood destroying insect report for the sale of property, he does that too. Best of luck to the Cowboys and Cowgirls from Cowboy Pest Control Services. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, live from DeHennis High School, bottom of the fifth. Cowboys lead the Yellow Jackets five to two. Cannon Wren heads back out on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. And leading the inning off for the Cowboys is the center fielder, number 21, Cade Hendry. First pitch in there for strike one. Still no balls and one strike on Hendry. The pitch, swing and a miss for strike two. So no balls and two strikes on Cade Hendry. Pitch from Wren. Low for ball one. So one and two count on the batter. The 
pitch from Rin. Swing and a miss for strike three. And out number one. And up next for the Cowboys is the left fielder, number 18, Aaron Chapman. Rin on the mound for Sabanow. There's a pitch in the dirt for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Chapman. The pitch side for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on Chapman. With one out here in the bottom of the fifth. The pitch. Chapman swings and pops it up. And the wind will carry it out of play. Gonna bring up the count of two balls and one strike on the batter. Pitch from Rin in there for strike two. So two balls and two strikes on Chapman. The 2-2 two -two pitch in the dirt for ball three. Full count. Chapman hits it, fielded by Vasquez at third, who's going to fire it over to first. Besa is off the bag, and Chapman will be safe at first. So up next is the designated hitter, number 34, Easton King. With one out. Chapman on first. The pitch high for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on King. The pitch. Chapman making his way towards second. It's going to slide and he's going to be safe. As Borrego dropped the ball on the tag. So it's going to bring up two balls and no strikes on King. The pitch high and outside for ball three. Three balls and no strikes on the batter with Chapman on second. Cowboys lead the Yellow Jackets five to two. The pitch from Wren. Caught the outside corner for strike one. So three balls and one strike on the batter with Chapman on second with one out. The 
pitch high for ball four. So King will draw the walk, make his way towards first. Cowboys have runners on first and second. Chapman on second, King on first. And now coming up to the plate is the first baseman, number 22, Jaden Puente. Pitch from Wren. Went to lays down a bunt. And he will be safe at first. And the bases are now loaded for the Cowboys. Nice bunt by Jaden Puente. So Aaron Chapman on third. Easton King on second. Jaden Puente on first. And now we're back to the top of the lineup with the pitcher number two, JJ Garcia at the plate. That's a ball called by the umpire. And Chapman will come in and score on the balk. King will advance to third, went to the second. And the Cowboys now lead six to two. And now head coach Hank Steitler will come out and ask the umpire. A question he's gonna go out and speak to his pitcher now so JJ Garcia at the plate with Easton King on third Jaden Puente on second Cowboys bringing another run on the ball call so number two JJ Garcia at the plate with runners on second and third. With a one out. The pitch from Wren. In there for strike one. The pitch, Garcia swings and fouls it back. Into the fence, brings the count to no balls and two strikes. The pitch fouled into the Yellow Jacket dugout. Count remains, no balls and two strikes with one out here at the bottom of the fifth. Cowboys lead 6-2. J.J. Garcia at the plate. Easton King on third. Jaden Puente on second. The pitch. Garcia chops it over the head of the pitcher and off the base. And King will come in and score. Puente will come in and score. And Garcia will advance the second. And the Cowboys now lead eight to two. And courtesy running for JJ Garcia at second base is number three, Wyatt Schlort. And up next is the second baseman, number five, Brady Herndon. With a one out. Cowboys have brought in three runs here in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch. Herndon sends it deep, finds the gap. As Schlort will come in and score. And it'll be an RBI single for Brady Herndon. And the Cowboys extend the lead to nine to two. And up next is the shortstop number four, Rain Redden. With Herndon on first. Yeah. 
Herlin making his way towards second, and Redden finds an open gap. And Herndon will stand on third, and Rendon hustles to second. So the Cowboys with runners now on second and third. And up next is the catcher, number 11, Will Shavi. And update across the street. Cowgirls lead the Canepa Lady Crushers 19 to two in the bottom of the third. Excuse me, yeah, bottom of the third. So Will Shavi at the plate with one out, runners on second and third. The pitch. Low and outside for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on the batter. The pitch, swing and a miss for strike one. So one ball and one strike with one out here in the bottom of the fifth. Cowboys have brought in four runs here in the bottom of the fifth with Herndon on third, Redden on second. The pitch, Xavi, fielded by Borrego at first. Shortstop fires it over to first. For out number two. But Herndon will come in and score. With two outs and Redden advances to third. And up next is the third baseman number one, Marcus Hernandez. Pitch in the dirt for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Hernandez. Once again, Rain Redden on third. The pitch from Rin. Low and outside for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on Hernandez with the rain redden on third with two outs. The pitch outside for ball three. So three and no count. Pitch in there for strike one. So three balls and one strike on Hernandez. The pitch, Hernandez swings and sends it foul down the left field line. Brings the count full, three balls and two strikes on the batter. Pitch. Hernandez hits it. Ball makes his way into left field. And Rain Redden will come in to score on the RBI single by Marcus Hernandez. And the Cowboys now lead 11 to 2. And now times will be called by the Yellow Jackets. Once again, we'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors Summit Landscape and Design, Medina Electric Co op. Primo's Processing, Main Street Mercantile, and Cowboy Pest Control Services. It appears the Yellow Jackets are going to make another pitching change, so we're going to let them warm up, and we're going to let our sponsors do a little bit of talking. You're watching the Hennessy Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back. Not everyone starts their day at the same time, or in the same way. But no matter when or how, your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative is there to help you power every moment of it in countless ways because whenever it starts one thing is certain we never stop medina electric cooperative is a touchstone energy cooperative your source for power and information
We like to describe Main Street Mercantile as a little piece of heaven with a wild street. We started with the dream to bring a fabulous and unique gift selection to our small town and rural community. We have trendy clothing, home decor, accessories, and so much more. We are a destination worth the trip. Just ask anybody who's been here. Located on Highway 90, just outside of Hondo, stop in today to your new favorite store. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, live from DeHennis High School. New pitcher on the mound for the Yellow Jackets is number 10, Bo Bessa. And out the plate for the Cowboys is the center fielder, number 21, Cade Hendry. With Hernandez on first for the Cowboys. First pitch from Bessa is high and outside for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Hendry. Hernandez makes his way towards second. Hendry sends it down the right field line. Hernandez is sent in by Todd Kraft. And the Cowboys will win off the RBI hit by Cade Hendry as the Cowboys run rule the Yellow Jackets and win 12 to two. We'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors. This season's Summit Landscape and Design, Medina Electric Co-op, Primo's Processing, Main Street Mercantile, and Cowboy Pest Control Services. Once again, Cowboys win 12-2 off the hit by Kate Henry down the right field line as Marcus Hernandez comes in to score. So till next time, good night.